This morning I'm out looking for sour wood. And I brought Charlie along here. Charlie, come here. Get out of that water. Charlie, come on. Come here. Come here. Put you in the video. Yeah, come on. Yeah. See you, my dog. So Charlie's going to explore around here. Why well, I explore around here and we'll see what we can find. I don't see any tower wood right here. Well, wait a minute. What's that down there? I'll go see. Just a minute. No, that wasn't sour wood. It just looked, just looked like it from a distance. When the light was shining off the leaves and making it shiny, that's not sour wood. So I will have to look further. We'll go on. Charlie, come back here. Charlie's having a good old time. We'll continue on here. If you wonder where we are at, because you can hear the sound in the background, there it is. It's a rock quarry. It's a rock quarry in Raven County, not far from Dillard in Sky Valley. We're looking here at the rock quarry, and if you'll notice, there's a big gap there in the middle. Yes, that mountain was taller than those other mountains back in the 1980s. I remember that. They just took that mountain completely down. That's gone to your driveways, to your roadways. You see those dump trucks? You wonder where that come from? Where have you thought about it? Well, this is the way it is. This is what happens whenever you make roads and highways. It's something we've got to do if we want to get around. It is kind of amazing that they take the whole mountain down. I think they've taken actually a couple. I'm sure they've taken a couple. But we need roads. We need pavement. And that's where it comes from. Also for your foundations, your concrete and all that. All those driveways. For buildings. You wonder. Have you ever wondered about where it all comes from? Well, there it is. The whole mountain's gone. Well, so far, our quest for sour wood in this park has been a bust. So I guess I'll wind it up and we'll move along. That's a walnut tree right there. It's not sour wood, it's a walnut tree. Maybe we'll find some along the road for long. So we're right here by the highway on US 441. So you might notice that uh, these little flowers here are just coming out. They're not quite opened up yet, but it won't be long. It's said to be about July 1st or so. July 1st through the 8th, I think what Bob said. Bob Benny, that is. We're still on 441 looking at sour wood. And if you look the distance there, you'll see Bob Benny's beehives. Across the street from Home Depot and Walmart. Let me see if I can get a little closer in on that. Lots of traffic here. In Clayton, Georgia, just south of Clayton, Georgia. Now, those are Bob Benny beehives. I'm sure he's getting ready to have some supers on there for sourwood as these open up. Lots of traffic here for sure. You see those beehives out there? Yeah, those are Bob Benny's beehives across the street from Home Depot and Walmart, Tractor Supply in Clayton, Georgia. Now I think we'll have to zoom out a little bit. We have some sour wood just about ready to open up and be ready for the bees to come get. We're not quite there yet. Should be around July 1st to the 8th would be about the time they open up. And I'm told they go for about two weeks. So there you have it. Hey everybody, I forgot to turn my microphone on. <laughs> Charlie and I went into the woods to find some sour wood. We didn't find any sour wood, but we did find some rhododendron. 
And Charlie found a spot to roll in. I'm not sure what he'd got there, but apparently he wanted to take a little bath in it. Charlie, come on. Come on, Charlie. Let's go up here. We did find this pretty rhododendron. There are some bees. Rhododendron is not a good honey flower because it's poisonous. The bees may gather it, but they don't gather much just because of that. Because it's poisonous. Charlie! Charlie, come! Come here! Come, Charlie. Come here, Charlie. Good dog. Come see me. So here we are on the road, out there in the forest. So all right, folks, what do you think? Is that sour wood? Looks like sour wood to me. I didn't see anything bigger than that, though. Well, maybe there are some up there. I don't know. But there's not too much. There's a bunch of little ones like this. So in Raven County, because I knew that there was some sour wood that would be blooming there, it's not completely open yet. I drove all over in Raven Gap. I saw a couple trees there that were opening up. The flowers are on. They're not open yet, actually. But I saw them hanging over the road. There was just no place to stop. In fact, it's been kind of hard to find anything that has the flowers on it where they're open. I've resorted to just going out for a ride in the woods. Now we're out on Hale Ridge Road between North Carolina and Georgia. Let's see where Charlie's going. Hey, Charlie. Charlie, come on back. Come on back, Charlie. Good boy. Are you having fun exploring? Yes, folks, this has just turned into a regular adventure. I'm sure there's sourwood out here somewhere. Maybe that's it there. I don't know, but I just had to get out here and take a few more pictures. Really pretty neat out. Nice and quiet. Out here in the woods. Yeah, I think there's some sourwood around here somewhere. Probably that tree right there. Yeah. You probably can't see it, but let's see if I can lighten it up just a little bit. Is that sourwood? Let's go take a look. I think that's sourwood. I do. Yes, I do. Well, there's no flowers on this yet, but yeah. Those are the alternating leaves. I think that's sourwood up there. Let's get if I can get a better look. What do you think? Think that sourwood right there? I do. <laughs> Handheld. Yeah, I'm trying. I don't know whether it's working or not, but it gets darker, so it make it lighter. <laughs> I got Charlie in the car yet. Well, I'll get her move along. I hope you enjoyed this little stop here. A little bouncy stop. Figure why, why not? In the meantime, Charlie's just waiting here in the car. I let him run for a while. We'll probably do that again. He's having a good time, I'm pretty sure. Out here. So here we go. Off in the woods. 
looking for sourwood. So turns out turns out there's not sourwood here that I can see. The tree above me I thought was sourwood, but apparently there's no flowers on it, so maybe it's not the time of year. Maybe it is a sourwood. Who knows? I don't know. Could be that the elevation is different, and so these aren't blooming yet. Could be that the soil type is different. It's not even a sourwood in the first place. I don't know, but thought we'd come out and see. Maybe later in the year I'll find one. I doubt it. Now I couldn't help but stop and look at this gnarly tree that I drove by a while ago. It doesn't have a lot to do with bees, but boy, look at that stump. That's pretty neat. Yeah, Charlie's out here exploring the Nantahala National Forest. Got a little mountain laurel on the left-hand side there. And Charlie likes to eat the grass. So I like taking him out in the woods and letting him just do what he wants to do. There's some really pretty mountain laurel up in this section. This is a great example of sourwood growing near Subway on US 441 south of Franklin, North Carolina. Good morning everybody. It's June 1st and I've been out searching for sourwood trees. And this is not one of them, but I do want to point out that sourwood has a leaf very similar to this. And right to my left over here, there's a sourwood tree. And we're going to go over there and check that out. I'm here in front of the Franklin, North Carolina Library. It's good to be out here on this foggy morning. Check this out. Yes, sir, it's certainly foggy this morning. And over here is our old sourwood tree. Now this is the real deal. Got the flowers here just coming out. These, I can see, are just barely open. This tree has been blooming, I know, for probably a week now. I was out here and that's when I found it. Now if you look closely, you can see that there's a lot of flowers here aren't even opened up yet, so there are some. Now, I don't know how many bees will be after this just yet later, later today. <laughs> I don't know how many bees will be after this later today, because there's only a little bit open, just these little flowers right here. The rest of them aren't open yet. Maybe a time to put your supers on. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, certainly not past July 4th, I don't think, because it does look like these will be open by July 4th. But that's a good example of sourwood, for sure. <laughs> 